Okay, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to convert from degrees to degrees, minutes, and seconds. Degrees, minutes, and seconds are often used to denote angle measurements in trigonometry, as well as for navigational purposes. You will see this a lot um, in navigational purposes where they are talking about the latitude and longitude and the direction that the ship is sailing. Something like that would be an example of where it's used in the real world. So a couple things that you need to know. First off, one minute is denoted as one apostrophe. So whenever you see um, an apostrophe next to degrees, that's talking about one minute. And one second is denoted as one quotation mark or double apostrophe. A couple other things that you need to know is one degree is equal to 60 minutes and one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So this is what we're going to use right here to help us do our conversions. So we're going to convert 50.128 degrees to degrees, minutes, and seconds. I will also do a video showing you how to do this with both the TI Inspire graphing calculator and also the TI-84 graphing calculator. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to separate out your degree. We're going to take this 50 0.128 degrees and we're going to separate it into our whole degrees because that we're not going to change and our part of the degree the 0.128 okay and what we're going to do is we're going to convert this part right here from degrees to minutes so what we're going to do is we're going to keep the 50 degrees as is and we're going to take the 0.128 degree and we're going to multiply it by 60 minutes over one degree. The reason we're doing that is because this will cancel out our degrees. And so now we will be left with minutes. So when we do that, we are left with 50 degrees plus 7.68 minutes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing that we did last time where we separated out. We're going to separate this part out because we don't want a fraction part in our minutes. We will have it in our seconds. It's okay to have a decimal within the seconds, but not the minutes. So we would take our 50 degrees plus our seven minutes, because that's how many whole minutes we have, plus we're going to take the 0.68 minutes and we're going to convert this into seconds. So in order to convert this into se seconds, we're gonna do essentially the same thing that we did here, except for we're gonna use this conversion here where one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So we're gonna take this times 60, and we're gonna divide it by one minute. And the reason we're doing that is because now we will cancel out this. The minutes will cancel out and we'll be left with the unit seconds. So we can say that this is going to be 50 degrees plus seven minutes plus, if I take 0.68 times 60, I end up with 40.8 seconds. So if we now put this all together as a final answer, we would be left with 50 degrees, seven minutes, and 40.8 seconds. So in order to convert from degrees to degrees, minutes, seconds, you are going to break the fractional part or the decimal part, and you're off from the whole degree. And then you would start by multiplying by the minutes. And then from minutes, any parts that you have, if you ended up with a whole number here, then you would stop. Um, but if you have any fractional part, then you would multiply by the 60 seconds to convert it to seconds. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.